Welcome everyone. Good morning. We are here at the City Council Chamber at 440 Civic Center Plaza. And we are here this morning to break the tie on District 2. The Contra Costa County Elections Department has certified the votes for the November 8th, 2022 general election. And the two candidates for District 2, Andrew Butt and Cesar Cepeda, each received 1,921 votes. Pursuant to Resolution 79-2, calling for the November 8, 2022 general election, unanimously, unanimously adopted by the Richmond City Council on June 21st of 2022, a time will be broken by lot. And just let me read that section of the resolution. It is further resolved and ordered that if two or more candidates in a district receive an equal and the highest number of votes, the city clerk shall summon the candidates who receive the tie vote to appear before her at the time designated by the city clerk. In the council chambers, the city clerk shall place the name of each candidate in a sealed, unmarked envelope, and the tie vote shall be broken by lot. Now I will ask these candidates to come forward just stand at the facing. And I need you to place your name right in. Please don't put your camera in our view. Sir? Sir? Yeah. Sir. Because it keeps, yeah, the we picture. like their stuff. Throw them across the room or something so they're totally The bag is too small. We will go by the bag. Okay. Here, I'll shake it. Here. Yeah. Okay. So you guys want to hold it with that and pull from the bag. Andrew, you're blocking all views. <laughs> so the winner, the winner, the winner for District 2 is Caesar Sotino. Congratulations.
Thank you all for coming. How are you feeling? I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's, you know, it's, uh, I feel like um, I lost, and I think I have a lot of mixed emotions right now. But, um, I, I, both of us, I think, have put a lot of time, effort, money, um, emotion into the long and hard fought election campaign, and uh, to come down to um, the guy who doesn't get their name wrong is, uh, it's, it's a very bizarre way to have it all in. Um, you know, so, uh, I, I'm not feeling great, but uh, you know, and, and I, I would like to say, well, that's democracy in action. I'm not sure that really applies to uh, you know, the, the uh, law, but uh, yeah, it's pretty surreal. This is a new law. Like, if I heard her reading it correctly, this yeah. drawing out of a hat was... My, my understanding is that the city of Richmond sometime in this past year has to um, enact this. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, but, but I know that there, there, there is some precedent in the county. The dice rules, the last time it happened in 2018, I think. So, um, you know, if, if, if the city didn't have that rule, I would imagine something like that would probably take place in any case. So, Andrew, your dad signed that resolution. I mean, that's kind of... Yeah, yeah I, I, I understand that. Actually, I, the copy I saw didn't have a signature on it. I do understand. I think they were maybe virtual at the time. But, um, yeah, he, he did. He didn't recall doing that. Either, but, uh, that's not uh, I think, like I said, there's certainly precedent in the, in the county for, for settling ties this way. Um, you know, is it the right way? I don't know. I'm not one to say that. It's certainly... Um, <laughs> from my perspective, now, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really seem fair, but, but I guess it's a good way to Andrew, will you um, accept this? Will you try to challenge it? Or what's next for you? Uh, like I said, I'm, have, I'm having some mixed emotions, you know. I think um, I'm, I'm just letting it settle in right now. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a bizarre way to end many, many months of, you know, a lot of effort. Um, and uh, certainly the voters didn't decide. Um, so, you know, I, I think I, I, you know, I'm going to keep options open. Um, part, part of me really would like to just move on. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have kind of prepared myself for this, just thinking that, you know, that there's a lot of um, benefit to being the guy that gets that name drawn. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of um, benefit to not being, you know, for me, um, you know, I, I, I'm a, unlike Caesar, um, you know, I, I don't really, my, politics is not my, Totally my world. Um, you know, I, I did this because I felt like I had the, um, I had a unique skill set and a unique experience, having you know been the planning commission for many many years, and, and being an architect makes someone involved in my community for a long time. So for me, it was, it's not about I never was about you know uh, climbing any political ladder or, or starting some great political career. Um, it just you know it, it was a need that I saw and that I thought I, I would be potentially able to fill and, and do well and represent my community. Uh, but you know, I, I run a, I run a business. I've got two kids. Um, you know, I have I have a busy life um, outside of politics, and um, I intend to, to uh, well, I look forward to, to you know refocusing on that and really kind of moving beyond this. Um, having said that, you know, if, if there are um, options available to, to you know potentially um, you know ensure that this is not necessarily the, the, the final step of this, I'm, I'm going to look at and the emotion in your face, in your eyes right now, and knowing what you know, want to talk about pain, is what's for you and your family. What is the message you'd want to give to the people that did vote for you? Well, the people that did vote for me, you know, certainly I, I want to thank them. I had a lot of, um, a lot of people really in my corner, a lot of supporters, uh, a lot of people who were, were encouraging me initially to run, encouraging me, you know, along the way. And when I um, was, you know, feeling really well, like maybe it wasn't the best thing. Um, you know, as you mentioned, my, my family's kind of been targeted. Um, you know, my dad's obviously kind of a, a large figure around here. A lot of people love him, a lot of people you know, do not love him so much. And, uh, you know, as a result of, of my affiliation with, with my father, um, and, you know, I think my politics, which, which you know, I, I've been pretty outspoken against the current progressive alliance, um, who has now five plus seats on council. Um, six of you from Caesar. And, uh, you know, I, I, I have a lot of criticism there, and I've been loud and vocal about it. I've, I've been really the only candidate that's been that way. Um, so, as a result of that, I, I had some, some really nasty um, things, you know, directed at me. Um, and, and I was 
hard. It was hard for my family to have to deal with that. Um, for me, I, I, again, having my dad run politics for 23 plus years now, I've kind of gotten accustomed to it. But, uh, but it still hurts. And so, um, you know, it, 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 it definitely, there is a lot of things that, that are, I think, um, that I look forward to you know, not being in the political limelight, not, not having to be the one that gets blamed, and not having to go and do battle against uh, you know, the, the current administration of Richmond. Do you feel like the voter turnout kind of, uh, today's result was kind of because of the voter turnout? Voter turnout? Yeah, and that's really unfortunate. I think, um, you know, across the, certainly in the county, I think it's a problem, you know, at every level of government, at every level of our society. Um, you know, and you know, I, I said before, I think, you know, you look at the, the things that, that's going on around the world, um, the struggle that, that, you know, the Ukrainians are fighting literally and dying daily, um, for democracy and, and you know, in, in everywhere, right? China, Iran, you name it. Um, and, and here, uh, we really have a great, well-functioning democracy that's really easy to vote, um, you know, and, and less than half the people that are registered do it, and that's how many people are registered. Um, so it, it's, it's it, I think it's it definitely a sad statement, and, you know, um, I, I don't know exactly why that is, if people just, you know, have other things that, that and they just, you know, think government's going to, do what it's going to do, or that their vote doesn't matter. I think you know, I would hope that, that this outcome and, and the publicity it's gotten at least you know, demonstrates that the vote certainly does matter, right? Because one more vote in the direction we would be drawing names from all of them. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I struggle to to uh, understand why the voter turnout is so low. Is there a different method that you would have preferred to send this vote? Yeah, the one where I won. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, I, I don't know. I mean, we've, we've joked about things. I, I think ideally, it, it, it seems like an odd way to settle a, um, you know, a vote of the people. Um, I, I, I think it probably, in a, in a perfect world, you know, there would be um, an opportunity to have, have a, another vote, you know, run off or something like that. But, you know, the, the reality is that takes time and money, and, and you know, we're, we're short of both. So I think, um, you know, I don't know what else to do, honestly. But yeah, I, given that where I am <laughs> this moment, I, I think uh, I would have rather something else, but you know, the result might have been the same. Like you left, was not working today. Apparently not. No, I wore my, my lucky jeans, my lucky boxers, even even a, uh, a, a lucky jade necklace, but um, it didn't, didn't work out. <laughs> I, won't, I won't be buying a lottery ticket today. <laughs> <laughs> Your message to Susan? Well, I, I, I wish him the best. You know, I, I hope he. Um, governs um, well. I hope he, he listens to people. I hope he uh, remains independent. You know, he's, he's said that he's not part of the RPA, and uh, you know it, it really isn't going to matter a lot because they, they, they have such an overwhelming majority. But uh, you know, I, I, in the end, I want what's best for Richmond, and, and I hope that the current elected government of the city of Richmond is going to keep that in mind and and listen to you know to the majority of. The, their constituents out there who, who didn't vote for any of them, you know. Um, that's that's the, kind of the unfortunate thing about about the current situation. I think I think we really need to look at going to some system where we have either a, a runoff or we have ranked choice, because um, I think when you get people in office that, that you know only have about a third of the vote, um, they're not representing you know everyone rich. And, and so I hope I hope, although I'm, I'm highly skeptical. That, that they acknowledge that fact and, and seek to, um, you know, to, to, to listen to all of us and not just the people voting for them. And will you run again? I don't know, it's too soon. You know, uh, this has been uh, a lot of work and um, a huge emotional investment and time investment. You know, and again, as I said, I, I, I run a business, I've got two kids. Um, you know, Caesar's a single guy doesn't have to worry about those kinds of things. So, uh, you know, for me, it, it's been hard to have to, to put a lot of time and effort and money into running a campaign. Um, and I would have to think long and hard before I did that again. Um, and the other thing is, I've, uh, you know, I've, I've seen from an insider perspective politics, and particularly politics in Richmond, and they're, they're not very pretty at times. And, uh, you know, I, there, there's a lot of good reasons to, to stay away from it. So, I don't know. So that, on the one hand, that's my thought. On the other, you know, I, I've been invested in Richmond for a long time. I'm not going to go anywhere. Um, and, you know, I, I, I care.
care, and I, I, you know, I, I can't help but get involved. So we'll see. Whether it's whether it's um, political involvement or you know, I've, I've been involved and in, currently involved in a number of nonprofits. Um, there, there, there may be better, more effective ways to do things correctly, especially if I'm going to be the, the minority on, on a council dominated by the other team. Thank you. Thank you so much. You Take care, everyone. Again, you can look forward to the cameras. Tell us how you're feeling. Uh, I am feeling blessed. I am feeling excited. I am feeling very optimistic for the city. I am feeling optimistic for our district. I am feeling optimistic that uh, I'll be able to work alongside Andrew. Andrew Butt, who uh, he did not lose. We both won. We both won the support of our district. We both have a thumbs up from our community. And I hope to be able to work with them. Uh, being able to uplift our community, being able to build those bridges that through campaign time, uh, sometimes it gets a little, uh, little torn, but I want to be able to work with them. I want to be able to work with his supporters, I want to be able to work with my supporters and be able to come together. What was that like, that process? I mean, bizarre. The uh, process of drawing a name was definitely bizarre. Uh, it was definitely a little crazy, but uh, it was it was great. Uh, it was a great opportunity to be able to get in front of this camera here and let people know the importance of every single vote. Uh, when I went out to cure ballots, I could almost pinpoint that one person that cured his ballot that allowed for the tie to happen. This person is in the military, and he was the last ballot or the last letter that I returned back to the county. So it was his cured letter that got us a tie. And he serves in the military, right? He's there trying to put his life to give us all the opportunity to be able to vote. And for him to be able to come out and say, ah, here's my letter, I want, to make sure, I want to make it right. Gave us the opportunity to be here today. Gave us the opportunity uh, to better serve our community. And again, the importance of every single vote matters. So if you're ever at home thinking, my vote doesn't matter because I'm only one, one person can and will make a difference and I hope that I am also that person that can and will make a difference in our city and in our district. Speaking of making a difference, what differences or what changes would you like to make when you take over this role? Well, um, being able to heal, right? I, I speak a lot about healing our community, being able to bring our community together. Uh, right now we have a city council that doesn't always work together and also a community that sees each other at odds. I hope to be able to come together uh, bring our community uh, to be able to listen to each other. One of my first goals is going to be able to bring people from each of the precincts and each of the uh, neighborhood councils in District 2 to be able to share their needs and their wants. They're very diverse, they're very different. We know that the people in Point Richmond, their issues are different than the people that live in Santa Fe, the people that live in Parkchester, the people that live in Shield Reeds, the people that live in North Richmond, and the people that live in Hilltop but being able to bring it together and see what we can work on together for the first 100 days, and then the first year, two years, and four years, to be able to make the goals alongside my community. Any lucky charms to, today? Uh, yes, uh, I brought a couple. Um, I am the first So I brought my rainbows with me. And I brought my little unicorn. And in my socks, you see, love is love. I want to be able to leave my community with that mindset. With a mindset that we could be different. But if our goals are to make our community better, we can. Whether you're a gay man, whether you're a straight person, we can do it together. And if you're in the closet, as I once was many years ago, and are considering taking your life, know that you can do it because I did it. I came away from this dark place 
And here I am, given this opportunity to be able to lead my community and be able to uplift every single voice. So this is my lucky charm. So it says a lot about representation in this position of leadership. Uh, yes, right? Uh, again, we go back to every voice matters. I am just but one voice in our community, but we have to uplift every single voice. Through this cycle, I was able to determine where we need to work on to make sure that we can get everyone to come out to vote. There were precincts in our community that had a very, very low turnout. We have to focus on those communities to make sure that they know that they are empowered and that they matter. In order to make change, we need them to come out to vote. We need them to be able to be active in our community, to know that I want to be able to represent everyone. Doesn't matter where you come from, doesn't matter your religion, doesn't matter your gender or your sex. I want to be the representative for everyone. I want to be able to hear from everyone. I might not always agree with everyone, but I want to know what you're thinking about. I want you to know that I want to be able to represent you, that I want to be able to be your voice and be able to understand, even when we might not always agree. Thank you. Um, last thing, just th this idea of drawing out of a hat for a winner. Um, do you like that? Do you, I mean, obviously there's precedent, but is that, you know, you, you're on the right side of this, but on the other side, you know, would you have felt differently? Do you feel there should have been a runoff, or what would you have liked to have seen? Great question. I think for next time we should probably look at runoffs. I don't think in a million years anyone who wrote that ordinance this past election cycle thought, oh, we're ever going to do this. Uh, I think we should better think about this. I think a runoff would have been better. Again, to be able to empower every single vote, because it wasn't until the end that we realized there was a couple precincts that had zero voters. So that's an issue for our community as a whole, that we're not having representation in every corner of Richmond, and we can't get them to come out to vote. So a runoff would allow us to be able to go and knock more on those doors and say, you need to come out, because we want to represent you. So I think a runoff for next time will be great. At this time, I got lucky that I was able to be uh, the name that got selected, but I think a runoff might be better suited for the next time around. Thank you very much. Thank you all for your time and for helping to allow us to represent our community.